Do you know what that is? That's a boost of vitamin C, very useful when you get back from vacation with a summer cold. Yes, I'm back from vacation. I took a couple of weeks off YouTube. And yes, I came back with a cold and a bunch of studio work to do. Now, a few months back, I did a review of the Tegler Kram Stereo Bus Compressor. So I don't know if you guys remember that, but if not, I'm gonna leave the link right on top. Now, since then, I've been using that compressor on a lot of projects. It's actually part of my workflow now. Now, when it's time to recall the mix, okay, I had someone asking me the question about recalling. So how do I recall all of the settings out of that analog gear into my mix session? What I usually do is take a picture of the settings I have on my analog gear, when I'm done with a mix, file that into an Evernote document so I can archive that for later use. And later on, when I get back to work on my mix, I just get that document up, check the photo, I recall my settings, and there you go. But the guys from Tegler thought of that and came up with something pretty cool. So let's jump in Cubase and let me show you what this is all about. All right, so let's look at the stereo out. Okay, I'm just gonna open this plugin. Uh, this is what sends my signal to the Tegler Creme and my return back in Cubase. Now, what Tegler did here is um, they gave us access to the visuals of all analog gear they sell. Okay, so if I open this plugin, because I just added this as an insert directly on my channel where I use the Tegler Creme, and this is a replica of the visual of the creme itself. Now, this plugin will not control the analog gear, but note that Tegler has some very good analog gear uh, that are controlled by the plugin. But this is not the case for the creme. So it's only used to, uh, to note your settings that you have on your analog gear, so it's easy to recall later on. So this is basically all the settings I have on my Tegler for this mix. So I just noted all the settings and kept that as an insert. So next time I open that mix, I just open that plugin and I see exactly what my settings use to be on this analog gear and I just recall everything directly on the Tegler Creme. Very, very useful. If you want to load one of the plugins, okay, you just install the bundle free from Tegler and it's going to show right, uh, let me check here. Uh, yeah, it has its own folder, the Tegler Audio Manufacturer folder, and all of these plugins are replica of analog gear they have. Okay, so you just load the one you have and use it to recall your settings. Very, very simple to use and very useful. All right, so thumbs up to the guys at Tegler Audio Manufacturer. I hope this is going to be a model to follow for all the other analog gear companies out there. So guys, uh, this is gonna be it for today. Uh, don't forget to leave your comments and questions down below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and don't forget to like and to share this video. All right, until next time, see you.